tools required include a T10 torque number two Phillips screwdriver and a two millimeter, 2.5 millimeter and five millimeter hex drivers. Remove the microtile screens before you begin. Note the order you take the screens off as you must place them on the same tile. Use a T10 torque to remove the three existing M3 screws that secure the top skins to the microtiles. Do not remove the skins. Use a T10 torque to remove the two existing M3 screws that secure the side skins to the microtiles. Do not remove the skins. Position the top adapter plate so that it is in line with the mounting points on the top of the microtiles. Use a 2mm hex driver to install three M3 by 12mm flathead screws to secure the top adapter plate. Repeat steps 3 and 4 for each top adapter plate. Position the side adapter plate so that it is in line with the mounting points on the side of the microtiles. Use a 2mm hex driver to install two M3 by 20mm flathead screws to secure the side adapter plate. Repeat steps six and seven for each side adapter plate. For the left side adapter plates, use a five millimeter hex driver to install an M6 bolt and nut into the four locations. For the right side adapter plates, insert M6 bolts into the four locations. Use a 2.5 millimeter hex driver to install an M4 by six millimeter flathead screw to secure the bottom right and bottom left plates. Use a 2.5 millimeter hex driver to install two M4 by six millimeter flathead screws to secure the bottom center plate. Connectors should be kept loose until the interactivity kit is completely installed so you can make adjustments. Align the first sensor bar connector with the designated mounting holes on the adapter plate. Secure the top sensor bar connector to the plate using two M4 by six millimeter hex pan head screws. All screws are installed from the inside of the screen. Do not tighten the screws completely. The connector should move freely so you can make alignment adjustments. The connector should be tightened only after the sensor and light bars are installed. Repeat step one and two for each of the sensor and light bar connectors. Align the master controller with the two mounting points on the adapter plates. Hook the master controller onto the top, middle and top left corner connector plates. Use the inside groove on the controller to guide it into position. Install the two M4 by six millimeter screws loosely. Position the master controller so that the screws are centered in the slots. Tighten the screws completely. Install the three corners. Note that the top right corner doesn't have any electronics. Note, when installing the sensor and light bars, ensure the seams between the bars line up with one another. Install the sensor bars along the top of the array, working from left to right. Use the groove on the sensor bar to hook it onto the outer back edge of the connectors and rotate the bar into position. To avoid damaging the contacts, do not force the sensor bar onto the connectors. You might need to move the connectors to hook the bar onto it. Once the sensor bar is hooked onto the connectors, slide the connectors back and forth until the screws are centered in the slots on the bottom of the sensor bar. Loosely tighten the M4 by 6 mm connector screws on the connectors to secure the position. Repeat steps 2 to 4 for the light bars that are positioned along the sides and bottom of the array. 
Note, to ensure proper alignment, it is recommended that one person completes the sensor bar and light bar installation. Manually adjust the bars to minimize gaps. When everything is aligned, secure the sensor bars using the pre-attached M3 by 10 mm captive screws. Tightened through the bottom of the bars. Note that the connector bar should not be completely tightened. Connect the 12 volt power cable using the DC jack on the back of the interactivity kit. When the kit is powered on, the LEDs on the light bars and sensor bars will illuminate green. Connect the USB device to the Windows 7 compliant computer. The LEDs on the light bars and master controller dim, and the LEDs on the sensor bars turn off. Reinstall the screens, ensuring you match the correct screen to the correct tile.